Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, depending on where you're watching us from tonight, you're either using the furnace or the air conditioner. And we'll explain why here in a second. You can see on the satellite and radar picture clouds to the north, pretty clear to the south. That's because a cold front is draped across the area, and that is making a big difference in our temperatures. I'll talk about that in just a second, but here's what's coming up over the next day or two. We'll have increasing cloudiness tonight, especially in southern sections. Those clouds will be filling in. Unfortunately, your Sunday doesn't look like we're going to see too much sunshine in the area. A nice cloudy day for your Sunday. And then kind of what everybody's talking about, we might see a little bit of snow toward the end this, this time next weekend. Uh, we'll talk about that here in just a second. As I talked about those temperatures with that cold front, look at the stark difference here. 45 in Minot, but near 80 in Dickinson. That cold front pretty much splitting the state in half right now, and it's slowly sagging away, uh, but definitely making a huge difference in temperatures. In terms of temperature change, you can really see it here. Nine degrees colder than it was this time yesterday in Minot, but 25 degrees warmer than it was yesterday in Dickinson. So those southerly winds with that cold front are really rushing into warm things up, but it is going to cool off here and we'll explain why right now. That's because of the upper air pad. And you can see this is a huge dip in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And what that's allowing uh, the atmosphere to do is filter in cold Canadian air. And as we put this into motion, you can see that this dip in the jet stream doesn't go anywhere fast. Thursday, Friday, we're still under that influence of those northwesterly winds. So things are gonna stay cool here for the foreseeable future. That's why the Climate Prediction Center in the next six to 10 days, it looks like the whole region has an excellent shot at below normal temperatures. That's what this deep purple means. And it doesn't look, get any better in the extent of the eight to 14. Still looks like a wide stretch of the area has a good shot for below normal temperatures. In terms of rainfall this week, I don't think we're gonna see any particular day that's a complete washout. Most days will be of the scattered variety. This looks a little bit more menacing as it is as we put this into motion through Tuesday. Wednesday, I think things clear out. Second half of the week looks good, but as we get toward the second half of the week here, you can see that by Saturday morning, there's a little bit of white showing up there uh, toward the Crosby area. And as we go through the day on Saturday, that fills in so that the Minot area could be looking at some wet snow mix in on Saturday. Temperatures tonight will be seasonable for this time of the year. They will rebound not too much because of that cloud cover tomorrow, just mid 50s, upper 40s to the north. Today is the first day of fall, and why is that? It's because today's the autumn equinox, and that's because the sun's rays directly over the equator. The sun's rays slowly sinking toward the southern hemisphere, limiting our daylight as we go through the rest of the year. So here's your forecast tonight for Bismarck, 43 degrees. Don't think any rain in the southern area tonight, but up north in Minot and Williston, 37 degrees. I think we could have a chance for a stray shower, especially west towards Williston. And your extended forecast looks like this. Again, a chance for a stray shower or sprinkle pretty much every day this week. And then if you look at the Minot and Williston temperature there on Friday, 49 degrees. And yeah, that snow you see there, a couple wet snowflakes could mix in with the rain, but it's a long way out. That could change, but right now it looks white. I don't think we'll get snow quite yet. I'm hoping not. I hope you're right. I know. Let's just pretend my beliefs will forecast the weather here. <laughs> well, coming up next in sports, Dickinson State Open conference play with a bang. Kins got the highlights next.